Hey gang, welcome to another Electronics and More video. I was just getting ready to salvage components from scrapped electronics and felt it would be the perfect opportunity to show you another must-have piece of equipment for the electronics technician or hobbyist. Just like a reflow rework station is a must-have for salvaging and replacing surface mounted components, the same goes for the unit I am about to show you for through hole components. We all have used this type of desoldering tool you see here. You can pick these up at Radio Shack and it usually works well but sometimes the suction is not right to draw up the solder or you have too many connections that need to be desoldered quickly. When salvaging components you want to be able to desolder as many as possible in the shortest amount of time. And that is where this tool right here comes in very handy. This unit is available in a 120 volt or a 240 volt version. Hacko makes a quality desoldering gun which looks almost exactly like this desoldering gun but it retails for more than double the cost of this gun. This gun works equally as well, gets very high user satisfaction ratings, is well designed, has many user serviceable parts which I will show you later when I disassemble the tool and I was able to work out a deal with the supplier where I got this desoldering gun so my viewers could be able to purchase this unit if they desired at a price lower than eBay and many other websites. Shipping is free and you will also be supporting my channel. I will be placing a link in the video description area for this product if you are interested in making a purchase after watching this video. For other great product review videos, you can click on the I in the circle at the upper right hand corner of your video player window to access my playlist. Now let's take a closer look at the unit, test it out, disassemble it, and see how it works. With this desoldering gun, you get this very nice heavy gauge steel base. Part of it is stainless where the gun slides in. You have this little tray over here for your sponge and the unit comes with this one tip right here. It's more or less a universal size which works pretty well but if you're going to be desoldering larger components that have larger diameter leads you're going to want to purchase the next size up tip as well. This is the bottom of the base. Also included are these two cleaning tools. These reach all the way inside the tip right here. And it clears away any solder that may be blocking the path from here to the suction tube. This is a 100 watt unit. You have full temperature control right on the handle. Right now it's set around 400 degrees Celsius. The resistive element which heats up the tip is in the same area as an ordinary soldering gun. The only difference is there is a pathway from the tip with the hole all the way into this little suction chamber over here. Draws the solder through the entire tip and into the chamber. Once it's full, you could push this backward and pull it out like this, bang it out and clean it. Here's a closer look here. Let me plug it in, power it up, and give you a demo. Once this unit is plugged in and powered up, you can see there's a red LED. It's active. That indicates that the gun is heating to the proper temperature. Once the proper temperature has been reached, this LED will no longer be illuminated. You can see right there. Hopefully. And it's still going. Lay that down. Once the light is no longer on, you can place the tip against the solder connection, push the button, and the pump will come on, drawing away all the solder into the tube. I'm going to demonstrate using this board right here. 
These are all 4558 op amps. I'll be desoldering one of those. I'll be able to desolder everything on this board with the exception probably of these high current diodes. For that, I would have to swap out the tip with the next size up and then it would be no problem at all removing the diodes. Let's try this one over here. Okay, over here is the op amp, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Give you a quick demo. Place the tip of the gun, allow it to melt. Boom, nice and clean. Go to the next one. Nice and clean. Go right down the line. Makes life very, very easy compared to using the old Radio Shack squeeze ball. And it even fell out. That was so good. Look at that. You can go through this board fairly quickly, salvage as many components as you would like. These are the components that I wanted to remove. I did it fairly quickly. And you can see the solder inside the tube. Just release it like I showed earlier, slide this back, pull the tube out, bang it on a table, and reinstall it. Now I'm going to take apart the gun, show you the internal components. Alright, this is the inside of the unit. Over here is the temperature control circuit. I'll flip that around to show you a little better. Right there. Put that back down. Over here is the micro switch. When you push this button, this little pin goes in, turning on the electric motor. Over here is the resistive element, along with a temperature sensor connected to the control circuit. When this gets hot enough, the circuit turns off the power to the resistive element. You can see the shaft of the motor has this heavy weight to keep things in balance with the pump. As the arm pulls this direction, it creates a suction which is drawn through this tube into the chamber to allow the solder to be drawn in. On the push stroke, the positive pressure is released from the unit over here, preventing positive pressure from exiting the tip. It works very simple and the parts are very easy to replace in the event of a failure. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.